Did Jesus claim to be God? Part 5. In part 4, we talked about Jesus' miracles and how he was not a hypnotist or a magician, but I want to talk a bit more about Jesus' exorcisms. I already explained how Jesus was not demon possessed in part 3, but I want to talk about demons, angels, and the belief of the supernatural realm. The thing about demons is that Jews at the time believed in them. They believed in angels and God as well. The thing is, that is all the Jews had ever known, the supernatural realm. So here we have Jesus, a Jewish man born in the Jewish culture and believing in the existence of demons and angels. So we go with the idea that Jesus was human, then we obviously know that Jesus couldn't have faked his exorcisms as he and everyone else around him believed that demon possession was possible. So if we do say that demons don't exist, then we're forced to say that Jesus was actually God. But then, if Jesus is actually God, that means he's not a liar, so demons and angels do exist. So because of this, whether we conclude that Jesus was God or not, the exorcisms actually happened. Another proof that Jesus was God was that he was able to forgive sin. Go check out part 6 to see why that's a proof that he's God.